Hi, as you can see here, Packard Bell is in OT. So today, we're going to change the boot option for this machine and try to reinstall Windows. The reason is, recently I changed the hard drive to SSD to make the computer more faster. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can change UEFI boot to legacy one. So in that way, you can reinstall any Windows system from the bootable USB drive or from the optical disk drive. So let's start. First of all, make sure you put the charger on, press the power button, straight away come back to F2. As you can see now, this is the actual BIOS page. What are you gonna do now? Now we're gonna go to security, okay? From security, as you can see here, couple of options, secure boot mode standard so we're going to go there and try to disable it if you go to boot and then as you can see here uefi and if you put the legacy bios still is so let's go back to security and check the secure boot okay Anyway, it's not going back to security. No problem, we're gonna go back to the boot option. Let's go back to boot. Hit enter, choose legacy BIOS. Hit enter again. As you can see, once we select the legacy BIOS, the screen already changed. Now go back to security and check if you can go back to secure boot. If, if you don't, don't worry. That's not a problem. Now, as you can see here, boot priority order, the first of all Windows boot manager and rest of them are different. So what are you going to do now? We're going to go back to main and find out if there is anything. Okay, there you go. As you can see here, F2 boot menu is disabled. So we must need to make it enable by hitting enter and choose enable. Hit enter again. Now press F10 to save the settings. And the machine will restart at the same time keep pressing F2 because in that way we can go straight to the boot menu there you go as you can see now everything appear in here so now we're gonna choose this USB thumb drive which is in that way number four so go down to number four and hit enter and straight away it's gonna get the windows loading up from the USB that's how simple it is so if you would like to reinstall your system or customize anything, follow the procedure and feel free to do it. If you have any question, please don't forget to leave a comment because I always read the comment and I hope we could learn something from it. And second thing is I would request, please subscribe if you do like this video.